It was a beautiful December morning in Hawaii when suddenly hundreds of Japanese warplanes appeared over the horizon and started bombing the U.S. naval base at Pearl Harbor. The surprise attack killed over 2,400 Americans and wounded more than 1,000. 18 ships were sunk or damaged, and only 55 of the base's 402 planes remained airworthy. U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt addressed the nation the day after the attack. Yesterday. December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. Witnesses and survivors of the attack remember that day vividly. I remember the bullets hitting the ground right in front of my eyes and not knowing what that meant. I turned around and I looked out. About that time is when I seen there were four planes coming at a Drake shooting right straight at us. Well, about that time, someone shouted, die bombers, die bombers. The thing that flashed through my mind is that you're a dead man, you're going to get killed. And my first thought then was, mother, I'm sorry, I'm not going to make it. I remember going down to the, leaving the hospital to the triage area where I was in the morgue, walking down probably uh, 200 yards to the channel, and seeing the desolation and, and, and the carnage there, there's still bodies in the water floating uh, here and there, and uh, the smoke and the oil and the grease. It was uh, very depressing. And we all, people cried unashamedly. We could hear the machine gun bullets hitting the turret. We felt the thud of the torpedo, and we took the sight cap off our periscope, looked through it, and bam, there went the Arizona. 1,177 men lost their lives on the battleship, almost half the casualties from the battle. Today, those lives are honored in a national memorial at the World War II Valor in the Pacific National Monument, which became part of the National Park Service in 1980. It attracts 1.8 million visitors each year. When the Arizona Memorial opened, you lined up on the pier in one line while waiting and going out there, especially on the way in when I got there, I had goosebumps about six inches high on my arms. Yeah, I don't care how many times I go there. When I step on that platform, it sort of breaks me up. Every time. It's just one of those things. I just think of these guys that trapped down there, couldn't get out, and what they gave up. You know, and how they really tried to do their best under the horrible circumstances to help their buddies and to try to save themselves. Just like the song says, remember Pearl Harbor? We'll remember. Julie Tabo, VOA News, Washington.